until now we have just um, uh, populated the area uh, and uh, with the coconut trees and if you take a closer look they, then you see that they, are, they all look the same this is because we gave no uh, random coefficients to the props but we can do that in infinito I'm going to delete all my props and uh, I'm going to choose my coconut tree again and say okay I want them perpendicular to the terrain so in this case I'm, I'm choosing perpendicular because I want you to see easily what I mean and uh, I'm going to, uh, to tell infinite I want to randomize the angle of my props at, at the angles at uh, which my props are oriented by uh, in a range uh, between minus and plus 20 and I want them to be scaled randomly of uh, a 30 percent uh, minus or plus 30 percent so now if I'm going to uh, paint my coconut trees you will notice that uh, not only they have different sizes but also that they well, these were meant to be perpendicular all perpendicular but since I asked Infinito to use a minus or plus 20 degrees of randomization in fact the axis uh, that they are aligned to are, uh, are not uh, all the same and uh, just to be more clear if I remove any randomization <coughs> okay this is what I would get without randomization okay all right and uh, there are many other features that uh, are here in the populate section and uh, one of them is uh, the edit mode edit mode is very important because uh, once you have uh, populated your area you may want to move one of these props in another position or well of course you can also delete all of them or I didn't show how to delete only one of them but it's very easy say you want to delete this uh, coconut tree just uh, I have to enter edit mode. Okay. Click on edit mode. I'm going to select this uh, coconut tree and I'm going to delete it. And uh, then I also want to delete this. And also this. And also this one. So you can see you can delete individual items and you can also move them. Say you want this uh, coconut tree here in a different position, you just uh, click and drag him away and uh, I can just move it in another part of my terrain and as you can see Infinito is going to deploy it exactly at uh, the proper height again See? so also in this case you don't have to manually adjust uh, the tree position uh, Infinito will uh, do it for you and if I tell that I want this tree uh, following uh, the terrain normal I can just use this slider and now my tree will also be aligned to the terrain slope and as you can see, as I said, at also at the proper height. And another thing we can do is to modify its, its uh, angles in real time. We can, for example, reorient it on the x axis or the y or the z axis 
of course you can also type values here and we can also scale it up or down so as you can see in the populate section you have all the instruments you need to populate your area with several different uh, uh, props that you have in your library and uh, you can uh, rearrange these props wherever you, uh, you like and uh, well I think you have all the tools you need to easily create your task scene There are also other features in the populate section. Some are still under construction, so I won't demonstrate those right now. Uh, but uh, if you follow my Infinito blog, you, uh, yeah, you will uh, have a sneak preview very soon. And uh, well, now I'm going just to delete all these props and I will show you that uh, actually all these uh, uh, all this work that you do on the terrain uh, will be available in that scene because as I said this is a plugin so right now I am using it uh, within that studio and well, let's say I want to just this simple scene I'm going to use the create section Right now the create section just have a very lonely button but we will have here all the um, options that we will need and uh, well when I click uh, the dust button right now you don't see anything only the, 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 the um, weight cursor and uh, Infinito is uh, now recreating the terrain texture and uh, after that it will um, uh, cr um, create also the terrain mesh game and populate my data scene and so that all I created in Infinito will be exactly replicated in that studio and I'm going to uh, yeah, pause this movie and get back when the scene is, uh, is ready and when uh, the data scene uh, creation is completed, we can just see that our uh, uh, what we had in uh, Infinito will be perfectly replicated in that studio. And uh, as you can see, we have a, a terrain group which will contain our terrain mesh and all the 35, uh, sorry, 34 uh, coconut trees that we have um, deployed on the terrain in this example. Alright, so this was the populate section, I hope you enjoyed it.